He's coming in right now. Chandrayaan 2 orbiter welcomes Vikram lander. Chandrayaan 2 says, welcome buddy to lander. Two-way communication between orbiter and lander. Landing to be live from 5.20 p.m. on Wednesday. Soft landing on the moon at 6.04 p.m. on August 23rd. My colleague Pramod Madhav is joining us live right now. Pramod, bring us the latest development on our moon mission. But this is inching towards the landing mission currently and uh, nearly like almost 40 days of the trip from uh, the Earth's orbit all the way to the uh, Moon's orbit and Chandrayaan right now has not one angel but two looking over it. That is the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter and now also they already there is another propulsion module which has also communication. This is going to only assist uh, uh, ISRO's command, command center in Bengaluru because what's going to happen now is that there will be two ways to communicate with the lander module. Earlier decision was that the lander module will communicate to the propulsion module through which the communication will be relayed back to the uh, uh, command center but currently now Chandrayaan has also made com two way communication with Chandrayaan 2 which was already destined earlier to uh, communicate with the earlier lander so right now there are two guardian engines that are looking over the lander module by which it's going to help ISRO the command center in particular people over there really well in actually handling the situation and making sure that the lander lands makes a soft landing successfully. Right. Pramod, stay on with us. Akshita Nandagopal is also joining us right now. So, ISRO, they're making sure that everything goes smoothly this time around, Akshita. Very true, Paul. I mean, this is procedural, essentially. And uh, all along, ISRO said that we're going to use the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter to kind of help us communicate with Chandrayaan-3. A number of very important aspects here. Chandrayaan-2, and there's a reason all along we've said, you know, it wasn't a complete failure, was because of this factor as well, that we've had an orbiter going around the moon for the last many years, since 2019, since Chandrayaan-2 took off to the skies. So that orbiter has been constantly transmitting information to us here, to the scientists based here uh, in uh, Bengaluru and some of them, of course, in Sri Harikota. Now, the orbiter in this particular case is going to be the medium. Uh, they're going to be, it's going to be sending back information and all communication from the ISRO scientists to Chandrayaan-3. It also played a very crucial role in identifying the exact landing spot, considering that it's been going around the moon for the last many years. It's helped the scientists to a great, great deal. Also important to highlight that the Chandrayaan-3 right now, this spacecraft doesn't have an orbiter. So every aspect of, uh, you know, any help that an orbiter can do, that will be done now by the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter that continues to go around the moon. So very crucial step this and also important highlight that's coming from the ISRO because we've all been wondering, Paul me, whether everything's as per schedule. They've confirmed that it is very much so. So 6.04 p.m. day after tomorrow, Wednesday, is when the landing, the soft landing on the moon's south pole is expected. Uh, the live telecast of that exact moment will start from 5.20. Mr. Sivan, the former ISRO chief, when he spoke to us, did confirm that it could take about 40 to 45 minutes. So it looks like 5.20 is when they're anticipating it will officially begin, where they'll start descending down towards the moon's surface. Okay, so that countdown, of course, begins at 5.20 on August 23rd, as Akshita was pointing out. Uh, Pramod, again, uh, tell us what we'll be looking at and expecting 5.20 onwards on August 23rd. Well, Paul, I mean, we are going to observe a magnificent uh, kind of like uh, work by human beings from Earth because we are going to reach the far side of the moon, the dark side of the moon, because moon is actually in a synchronous orbit with Earth, which means on the other side that is not available for us to see. Only a handful of humans have seen it so far. And right now, Chandrayaan has decided to go ahead and land over there. In fact, today morning, also Chandrayaan gave us an update about the surface on that particular area. The, the uh, lander has been also, uh, there is a, a specific camera added to it called as like landing hazard uh, detection camera. And it's only purpose is to make sure that it lands in a secure place, which means it should not like it should avoid any obstacle that is uh, 30 centimeters and above. All these has been very much calculated, and we're expecting two two meters per second drop, which can also be increased to three meters per second because this particular lander module has been designed in that manner. Not just that, the uh, the uh, the exact landing area has also been extended by several kilometers, and so this particular lander module has been only given one instruction to make a soft landing. This is very important, not only for India, but the entire Earth, because here you have ISRO that 
a very cost-effective technique and they are going ahead and doing it and that's the reason this, the entire world is looking up to this particular uh, soft landing polymy. Absolutely. Pramod, stay on with us. Akshita is also uh, joining us. Uh, this soft landing, it might, you know, the words might be soft landing, but it's probably one of the hardest things that scientists do, Akshita. Uh, you know, Paul, I had a conversation with uh, a NASA scientist a few days ago, and he said that, you know, it's uh, indescribable, essentially, those final minutes when that soft landing is to happen. And he says it's a lot easier than it looks like you've said. You know, when you say a soft landing, you think it's pretty easy that you just have to slow down and bring it down. But imagine that, you know, there are so many factors going against you, many of which you can't even judge. Those few minutes, which they say is about five to seven minutes when the final descent happens, that's the nail-biting moment when we'll know whether it's a success or not. And largely, the ISRO scientists will be tracking it to Bengaluru, will be making out based on the movement of the lander. In 2019, I'm sure you remember it uh, just as well as I do, uh, of what happened uh, where, you know, we realized that something wasn't right because we could see the lander wasn't moving down. The point was static. In this particular case, that's what they'd be hoping for. That all of the planning that they've done, and they've made several changes, mind you, to the lander as well, to ensure that they can, there's no scope for anything going wrong here, which means that there are also multiple sensors that have been put in place. There will be a great deal of control by the ISRO scientists right. who are based here uh, in Karnataka, but also besides that, there will be a lot of work that the lander automatically will do with the sensors. Right. Okay. Akshita and Pramod, thank you so much for joining us. So we will, of course, be counting down to 5.20 p.m. on August 23rd. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.